so yeah and they're black they look really really nice and i can honestly say this looks pretty realistic these would be like maybe five dollars a piece is how our pathway is looking so far. and welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog if you are new here my name is imani do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you like anything creating a space that you want to live in and if you're returning then hey guys welcome back to the channel yeah i am currently in the car right now the time the time is 6 12 okay so yeah i have a tongue going on um well first off i'm right here between joanne's fabric and tj maxx and the reason why I'm right here is because I was thinking about going in Joanne's Fabric to look at some outdoor stuff. So this weekend, we are actually supposed to be laying the pavers. Um, and I think the sand. Which I think that's supposed to be happening Saturday. Um, if you guys don't know, um, and I don't, I don't think I've told you guys, but I am working a 9 to 5 now. Yes, your girl went back to work. I am currently um, working a 9 to 5 right now. Um, I started my 9 to 5 back in March, like early March. I am actually the showroom visual merchandiser for Ashley's Furniture. Um, and it's been one of my, I wouldn't say dreams, but like I knew if I was going to work for a company, I would want it to align with my passion, which is, which is creating spaces. So I am the visual um, showroom merchandiser, which if you guys don't know, that is the girl or man who actually decorates the store on the showroom and actually um you know um, set furniture up in different spaces of the store to make it look nice and appealing for customers etc um but a lot more going to it <laughs> other than that i'm actually training right now so but the decorating obviously i got down packed but it's just a lot more that goes into a visual i want you guys to comment below if you guys are a visual merchandiser um or if you or if you've ever did it at a store before but anyways enough of that i just want to tell y'all just what's been going on with me and y'all it's been kind of like not having me be able to film as much as i would like to like now i'm still getting this content out for y'all but i'm not being able to really film during the week like that because it's, it's full time so it is a full-time position um part-time was not available and that's okay because i do like decorating so that's fine at least it's something that i actually love to do um so basically i want to start this vlog today i actually just got off work and i wanted to go into joanne's to just kind of like browse around see what they got and stuff like that and then probably go into tj maxx and see what they have as well like i said we are supposed to be finishing the paper patio this weekend i'm not sure if it's going to be completely finished but we also have to still kind of start the pathway as well um if you guys don't know i do want like a paver way with like six or seven 16 by 16 paver stones so i do want like a little walkway as well um so hopefully we can kind of get as much as that done this weekend because yeah the weather has been crazy in ohio we just had about so many tornadoes and it was insane um so and then today y'all today and tomorrow it's snowing like are we not in april i'm just i'm just sick of the ohio weather um and that has really made our projects be pushed back um i think one thing i've learned so far with doing these outdoor projects is that you can never start too soon when it comes to it getting warm outside etc because the weather will really set you all the way back and i feel like the weather is just not warm right now and we are sad now creating spaces so that's one reason why the days keep getting stretched out and the weather have just not been doing what it's supposed to be doing for somebody trying to do outside projects but sometimes i wish i lived in the south but i love ohio so whatever um so we're gonna go ahead and head in joanne's that was just like a little spiel to let y'all know exactly what's going on what's been going on um also um i have a surprise in this video too as well that i want to actually get up in this video for the outside space that i'm creating so that should be very exciting later on in the video so that's super exciting um what else we got going on so yeah we're gonna hit a couple stores today um 
and yeah just get some little footage and get some inspiration for just like the outside vibes you know for anybody who's actually working on their outside just like me to get like some inspiration do some shopping etc so welcome back to the channel y'all um i just wanted to just pop that little intro in there and let you guys know what was going on in today's video for this first day and then we're gonna take it from there so let's go ahead and get started so y'all the first thing i'm noticing is that everything is saying 50 percent off i mean so hold on if that's the case oh these are nice so i actually like something like this i think these are really nice i think these will actually go really good against the fence as well like can y'all imagine but it looks like everything over here is 50 percent off so as you guys can see there's the sale Here's all the flowers. I knew Joanne's would be really nice to come to because I feel like they always just have all the outdoor stuff. Like, oh, these are so cute. See, look at these. These look so realistic. Say, say they don't. <laughs> these don't look realistic for y'all. These look so realistic. Oh, I'm about to have me a time in here. Ooh, these are so pretty. These can hang anywhere. These are really cute. So, and everything is 50% off. Let's see what this price is. Is it a price on here? Okay, so this price is 49, so that's like $25 for both of these. Yeah, look, I mean, look how gorgeous these are though, like. I mean, this is gorgeous. This is really giving an outside vibe. And I can honestly say this looks pretty realistic and I love that it has the hook as well. I think this would be really nice for like, just hanging up um up under your pergola or like whatever i think that's really really nice um also i am loving these small reefs as well these are really cute those are really cute you can put these on your door or just create a small little space that's really really nice and then they also yeah look at this <laughs> is this a um <laughs> is this is this a pig rabbit or is it just a rabbit this looks like a pig rabbit maybe it's a rabbit and it just looks like it, it just it looks like a pig but this is so cute look at this little rabbit that's so cute also they have small picks as well which these are $2.99 but like i said everything at joanne's right now is 50 percent off so if you guys are working outside look how cute <laughs> adorable so if you guys are working outside they have these really cute um outside little spring pickets as you guys can see very very nice these are four dollars very nice and then also down here oh these are so cute oh look how look how adorable now see this is kind of like the modern style that i like this is definitely like that style that i kind of want to go for on my patio it's just like kind of like that rustic but light and airy natural vibe these are really really cute and these are actually retailing right now for 15 and they're actually 50 percent off as well and i think something like ooh, oh this is real nice <laughs> these are actually 9.99 and these are really cute as well um love these these are super cute and then they got these other ones with like different designs on them. I like these too. I think I like these better because these look like more realistic to me. But I love the wood. The wood is so good. Okay, okay, all right. So these are saying 50% off, but I'm curious how much are these originally? So originally these are $59 so they have these um, planters right here for $59 and they're actually 50% off so that means they'll be about 30 these are actually built for a front porch or backyard let's see so yeah and they're black they look really really nice like I said, the original price is 60. I love that the square, because the square really makes it very chic and high-end looking. 
I might have to get those. I ain't gonna lie. Because I think something like this would go really cute on a um, patio pavers. Probably let me know what you guys think. But love that. Now I don't know what this is. Let me see. This is Coco Liner Roll. Like what do you do with these? Is this are these are these just for like plants? What are these for? I'm not sure yet, but y'all look. Oh, these are 60% off. Look at these. Oh, these are adorable. They got like the little lemons look like. Those are so cute. And then they got the oranges. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Those are so good. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, yeah, they, they, they. <laughs> All right, I'll bet y'all wins, I'll see you. Okay, y'all, so it looks like um, the brand Place and Time has 50% off as well. So this is like a line of like outdoor stuff. So right here, um, let's see. It says Place and Time Spring Patio and Outdoor Decor, 50% off. And y'all look at these, what I just found. Let's see how much these are. What I love about this store is that I think they got prices on everything. So this is originally $60. So this will be like $30. That looks so good. And then also they have these little light, um, little like sculpture things and have a candle on the inside, which is really cute. These are 60 as well. Then I came down here and I seen that they had these lights right here. These are lights. These lights are actually going for $10. These would be like maybe $5 a piece. But these are really pretty though. That's the thing. Maybe I should put these in a front yard. So that'd be like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let me see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah, those are nice. And then they got these planters right here, which I love this texture. This texture is really, really nice. I love this a lot. And then they got some other ones that's really nice as well. Then over here, y'all, I seen this little set. They got this little set right here. This is $70 and it comes with like a tabletop. And then they had this right here in the middle, which I'm just loving these patio bags right now. This is going for 60 and it's all like that 50% off. So those would be like 30 a piece. And then down here, it looks like you can probably place something on top of these are nice. These are like some porch and patio solar lights, solar lancers. Oh, these are nice. Oh, these are this, okay. So it's 40 for this by itself. This is cute. So this is 40 and this would be 20 by itself because it's 50% off. And then these are plant stands, okay. These are plant stands right here that they got for like 30 something. So it'd be like 15 something. And then I think these are for plants down here as well. And then over here, y'all, I'm loving these. These are so good. I love the hanging. Oh, these are so good. Y'all, these are so cute. Oh, and it also tells you the price. This says cents, but I think that's like price. Um, also, these are really nice as well. Love those. And of course, they gotta have a black one. So how much is these? Cause these look so cute. These are 30. <laughs> All right, so these are 30, which is kind of like, those are cute. And then they got the little small ones. I love these small ones. These are 20, so they'll be like 10. And then they also got these with the brown little texture. That's really nice. And then over here, they just got like a lot of summer like items for the summertime this is so exciting this made me want to have a pool in the backyard <laughs> this is so cute also too y'all i seen where they actually had um their patio um rugs on sale so let me show you guys the patio rugs are actually on sale as well they're actually right here when you first come into the store but i think it's other ones but the ones that I've seen so far, and I think it's some down here as well, but the ones that I've seen so far is right here in the front. 
these are all 50 percent off i pretty much got one of these right here but it's like cloth so if you guys are interested in these they're going for 40 dollars, and then they're 50 percent off so let's see if it's 40 then that means it's 20. see so those are cute and i think they got some really fun colors as well but of course you guys know that i, I would do black and white on that sure. y'all would not believe what i just found y'all look at this <laughs> are you kidding y'all it's a bird feeder it's a swing bird feeder are you kidding how good is this first of all so i don't know if y'all know but y'all i got a lot of birds in the back in the backyard and i need And I think it's 50% off, y'all look at it. And I think you put the food inside of the seats. Oh my God. I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to be the bird lady. <laughs> I'm about to be the bird lady, I'm not playing. And then y'all, it has this hook right here. So I'm thinking like, if I get this, where should I put it at? And do you guys have bird houses where y'all feed birds? And if y'all do, is it like a certain food I should get? Because I've been wanting to do this. And I'm like, where should I put this at? Maybe I can nail it on a garage or something. Or like, I guess it can go anywhere. Y'all, this is so good. This is so good. And it's like the neutral color. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna get this right here. But, um. I'm in this section right now that just has like a ton of um, just stuff. Also, y'all, I just found these really cute um, sticks. They like ceramic sticks, but they say this. Look at this. It says, I dig you, water me, soil. Hold on, soil, water? Soil mate. And it's like these little sticks, y'all. How cute is this? And it's like sticks, I guess, that you kind of like put into the ground. These are so cute. It says water me, soil me, soil mate. <laughs> and I dig you. That's cute. This how it look. It says water me. That is so cute. <laughs> I'm loving this bag. I'm, I'm just loving this bag. Oh my also, for my girls who actually like the plant, yeah, they got different um, little plant, little sticks that you can put in the yard. We got like sage, dill, cilantro, parsley. So I guess this is stuff that you can plant. And they got these really cute like labels that you stick into the ground. Y'all, how cute is these? Look at these. That is so cute. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all one more thing over here for the plants and stuff, y'all. Look at this. Look how cute. <laughs> it's like a plant like barrel. Where I guess you could put like dirt at y'all. This is so cute. This is a planter. Oh, you could put plants in here. Oh, this is so good. And they got like the wheel with the feet, with the back little. That is so cute. Oh my god. But it's like the. Look at that. Say that's not giving grandma's house. Say it ain't giving grandma's. This is so cute, y'all. This actually retail for $49.99, so this would be like $25. So, this is so cute. I think that's everything I'm gonna show y'all in here for today, y'all. They got so much stuff in here, it's crazy. Oh, this is cute too. This is a cute birdhouse. This is like a ceramic. This is really cute too. Look, look at this birdhouse, this is cute. Ain't this a cute little birdhouse? This is cute too. I like this one. This is pretty. So this is only be like 15. This is actually a fun color too. The colors are really fun. That's cute. So I think you just lift this up like this. And that's how you put the food in. So that's cute. And this will be like 15. Maybe I should start with a small one. Oh, sorry. Mm. The, um, the little one is cute too though. And it'll only be 10. So I seen that one. And then I also seen, I thought this one was unique too. It's like a star and you can put the, you can put the food in there. The bird food in there, that's cute. 
so yeah and i think this is 49 yeah so yeah okay so that's everything for now um i do kind of got my eye on a couple of items so yeah y'all stay tuned well i hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little joanne's like shop with me because they got everything 50 percent off uh garden stuff outdoor stuff um decor pillows all type of stuff so yeah make sure y'all shop at joanne's hey guys and welcome to a brand new day y'all so we have a huge surprise today um shout out to cosway for sponsoring today's video they actually sent us over a pergola i believe i have the 10 by 13 <laughs> Um, so we're going to go out here and start to build it. If you guys are not familiar with Cosway, Cosway is basically a home store that sells all type of home items, garden items, and just essential items that you need for your home and just in general. Um, also, they're very affordable and I do have a coupon code for 10% off as well. So I will put the coupon code on the screen. So I want to thank Cosway for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and head outside. Okay guys, so we're actually outside. Um, this is the box that it came in right here. And it comes with all of your parts and pieces that you need. We actually have some tools out here to kind of help us as well. Um, these are some other parts that actually came with it. And also they are lettered. So if you guys were concerned, they are lettered. And they also have numbers on them as well. No, just letters. Letters in like one number. And all these. So everything looks to be labeled with like numbers and letters and stuff so that's good and then they come in this little package right here okay okay it looks like a is going to be our base okay for the legs so okay a is going to be the base okay yeah yeah we all sad right now um get some stuff together like i said i will leave um the link to the pergola that i have as well as the coupon code as well so I'm about to go ahead and get started okay guys so we are building the 10 by 13 feet outdoor aluminum retractable pergola canopy shelter this is actually Cosway's canopy pergola so i'm very excited y'all this comes in different colors i have the all gray one but they also have the gray and cream one they also have another one that kind of like it's like an oval shape a little bit. So they have a few um, to choose from. And again, they also have a lot of outdoor stuff. And they also have gazebos, tents, etc. So this pergola has a sturdy aluminum frame crafted from power-coated aluminum frame, which is firmly connected by multiple fixing screws. The retractable pergola is extremely strong and rust-resistant. Also, it has a 4 wide and 7-inch by 7 metal feet with pre-drilled holes that can help the pergola stand stably on different ground surfaces. Another key feature is that it has a retractable sun shelter. The canopy of the pergola can be easily retracted by a rope loop or unfolded in any position, allowing you to enjoy the sun and also the shade at night. Also guys, in addition, the rope loop and hook from the locking system that prevents the canopy from being blown away on one side to another. So I love that. Also, it has this high quality fabric made from a premium yarn dyed fabric. The sun shelter can effectively protect you from sun and also light rain. Moreover, the premium fabric is fade resistant and tear resistant, which can be used for a long time. So we love the longevity of that. Also, you have a wide application with a simple and generous design. This outdoor pergola, guys, can easily fit into various occasions and will be a beautiful sight for you to see along your garden, your poolside, or a patio, or a deck. Besides the trellis at the top of, it makes it suitable as a grape trellis, which is ideal for climbing plants and them to grow. Also guys, what I love is that it have a simple installation. The 13 by 10 by eight patio pergola provides a super large area to accommodate outdoor furniture for picnics, barbecues, small gatherings, or commercial events. Besides the assembly, it's not very difficult in detail with instructions and also guys it has an assembly video and basically guys with the video it just shows you a step-by-step -step how to actually build your pergola
Okay, y'all. So we are actually up under our pergola that we got from Cosway. Again, shout out to Cosway for sponsoring today's video. Um, y'all, so this is actually a 10 by 13 aluminum steel um, pergola. I did get this in the color gray. Um, and I'm super excited because I just love this like vibe. Um, they, they do have uh, different colors in this too as well, y'all. And one thing I wanted to share with you guys um, is that I would recommend like three people working on this. Um, I did have like two people working on it, but like, I was kind of helping them when it was like needed. But I would highly recommend <laughs> uh, at least three people. They got this in different tops. They have the beige top and then a the gray top as well. Um, and then also they have like just other kinds of gazebos and stuff like that. I will link everything um, to this pergola that I have personally. Um, also the assembly was not that bad. I would say the most time consuming part was probably kind of putting all the small little pieces together. But once we got the post in and um, done, it was just a matter of just, just kind of putting the slats on the top and then also putting the shade um, at the top too as well. So I would say that was really mostly the labor really also this shade is really really nice and also i want to mention y'all they have a pdf that you can download um with instructions um from your phone if you would like to so i also had did that but obviously the instructions actually come with the pergola as well um y'all and like i said before i will link everything down below i'm super excited to add this to the patio also um you can add this on your dirt ground or you can add it on um concrete or pavers as well i'm not sure which one i'll do but it does come with instructions and it does come with the anchors and the screws that you need to put at the bottom of the feet in order to put it into any platform that you're actually using so super excited it looks really really nice um and it's actually kind of bigger than i thought it would be so i think it'd be perfect to go up under my um to go over my patio that we have there I think it's really nice and I love the gray and it's very like nice quality as well but not too heavy so I'm loving it right now so I'm actually sitting up under it right now and you know I just kind of like do like a few little pillows out here with um, a couple seats from my um, patio set that I have right now and then also just like a little rug just to kind of catch the vibes you guys know I'm trying to catch a vibe so um, that is everything. I will link everything down below to um, this Costaway pergola. I want to thank Costaway for sponsoring today's video, and I will have all links in the description. Yeah, so I am actually currently in the kitchen right now. My contractors are outside. Today is Saturday. The time right now is 10:45 a.m. The weather is 44 degrees so it is dry outside today thank god so it's dry outside the sun is out so that's good they just got here about maybe about a 30 minutes to an hour ago and they're actually compacting the ground with a um, compactor with the dirt um i did just make some coffee um but i will take you guys outside to let you guys see what they're doing right now um so today um allegedly we're supposed to be um laying down like levels and layers of things today like um the paper vase um the weed fabric all that so like we're kind of starting a process of laying things down is while we're using a compactor to kind of compact everything down so it can be as flat as possible right y'all been learning so much with this whole paver stuff just like every fence like not fence just like every process that i've been like like anything that i've been doing to my house y'all i've been doing so much extensive research it is insane I feel like I got so much information in my brain, I cannot sleep at night. Pray for me, please. Because y'all, when it comes to this materials and these jobs and stuff like that and all this money on the flow, it is important that things are done correctly, okay? I'm stressed. I'm stressed, but it's gonna be okay. But pray for me, I'm, I'm serious y'all because i am literally one woman army over here okay trying to do it all um and just create the life in the space that i want to live and inspire you guys to do the same y'all we can do anything okay so we're about to head outside okay um hopefully we can lay the papers down today we'll see and we're actually um getting prepared for the walkway yeah that is so exciting 
girl now that part is exciting now don't give me I don't, you know and i don't know what it is but y'all i've been watching so many like pinterest boards and i like i got so much stuff pinned to my pinterest and everything about um far as like the walkway i want etc y'all i'm so excited for the walkway because i have a few ideas and i will kind of show you guys what i have planned or like what i think i want to do but i think i want them to dig um a nice little like pathway right and then i think i want to put stones the 16 by 16 paper stones about six or seven of them if we can fit them um and then put gravel oh oh y'all put gravel around it y'all that's exciting okay that's exciting that's what we got going on today y'all i'm just glad that we were able to get some more work done today because like I said before, the weather has really been keeping us not being able to work. Like I said um, earlier in the video, we had a couple of tornadoes hit different counties here in Ohio. Um, so thankfully, we did not get a tornado hit here in the middle of this process. But again, do not start your projects too soon. Because I think April is real like tornado-y like weather. And then obviously like rain season too as well. So i've been learning my lessons on you know these projects and stuff but enough of that let's head outside and see what they're doing
we are outside right now um and y'all it is a beautiful day lord i just want to thank you for letting us have some good weather today because thank you jesus anyways we are doing leveling right now um and this is what's going on but y'all i'm actually in the front um i'm in the front pulling those weeds and just like all that green grass to put some mulch down i'm not sure if i'm doing it right remember i'm not an expert <laughs> but um i am putting some um i am pulling up these little weeds and stuff and the the little garden in the front from the last video and putting that mulch down so it could look better so this is what's going on right now um also this is how our pathway is looking so far these are actually 16 by 16 right here and then these are gravel rocks at the bottom but we're going to put bigger rocks on the side so I feel like a 20 by 20 would have been better, but we'll see how it looks once we get like everything really cleared off, put our trim on and all that and see how it looks But This is what's going on right now. Like I said, we're leveling right now. As you guys can see, it's pretty bright. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you gotta, I'm telling you, you gotta thank God for that weather, cause look. But um, yeah, so everything's clear from right here, except for tools. And y'all, what I wanna do is, I kinda wanna do like a little garden bed right here, and then probably like a little garden bed over here to kind of fill those two spaces on the side but as you guys can see um we are get, getting it done like i said today saturday we we'll probably work tomorrow but i think they plan to lay papers today so but this is how it's looking right now um and that's how our little stepping stones are looking right now we got about five right here um so yeah, that's how that looks. And right now, we're just leveling right now. And this is how one of the pavers look right here. I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. Like I said, we're leveling right now. And this is about how much space we have um, on the walkway right here, which is about three to four feet from the fence line. So, and then, yeah, so. That's okay, so and right up. here, we're just, just doing some leveling right now. Okay. Okay, y'all, so this is how she's looking now. I thought I cleaned her out and I think got all the weeds out. I think these are weeds, y'all. Are these weeds? Because, yeah. I feel like those are weeds. I got some gloves too, y'all. I'm just picking the last little, little bit. But this is how she looked, y'all. Look at my little garden chair. I got a garden chair that has my little tools on it right here. I got my little tools right there and it actually adjusts you can actually put it down too as well and then the other side has like my mallet and stuff but ain't it cute though it's a little garden chair and then this is the mulch that we're about to go ahead and put down and as you guys can see they have really been sprouting and really have been more coming up so they look so pretty y'all they look so pretty. So let's put this mulch in real quick.
Okay guys, so we are finally outside and this is just kind of like a rough draft of the patio. This is not really the final reveal. Well, I guess it is final, but I feel like the grass need cut. Still need to be like leveled. Okay, so first things first, this is our walkway. Um, so, okay, I have my thoughts about it. Um, we feel this out with dirt. It kind of had like a little gapping. This can be like a little straighter though, but nonetheless, it's you know it's not it's not terrible. Um, and also too, y'all, um, these rocks are still ashy with dirt, so they obviously still need to be washed off. I have not hit nothing with water yet because we have to do some finishing touches with sealing the patio, etc. So there's a few more things that we have to do that's really critical that has to be done. So I think the edging kind of made it like a little straighter um these um paths this path right here these pavers are 16 by 16. um i think if i probably would have got 20 by 20s they would look even better but it's not horrible um for the space this is humpy because this is humpy and then this is lower because this is higher <laughs> so this has to be like cut down so i am probably going to have my landscaper probably cut that down get that together um eventually but and then also cut the grass and on it so but as you guys can see it's just way more higher over here and this is kind of where we like kind of got like a little dip right here too but remember i was saying um that i want to like kind of put some little like areas over here like grass um not grass but like some plants and stuff just to make it look more put together um but i do like this um little trim situation um with the rocks um obviously when the rocks are clean you guys can really get a feel for the color of the rocks but right now they're not clean so that's why they still look like that and I, you know what i could i could water them to see how they look i may do that in the next video but yeah this is how our pathway is um looking i got my paper stones from home depot as well as you guys can see like i said these are 16 by 16 um and i think putting the rocks around it kind of made made it look a little wider um than it did when it just had the gravel but i knew i was adding like the big rocks and these rocks right here guys are the heritage stone rocks so yeah and this is how our little walkway look i think it's really cute i think it's enough space to kind of like you know go up to the walkway as you guys can see the pavers um look huge um and sometimes i'll be like oh well, is this too skinny for the space but like when I really look at it in real life, and I'm not sure how it's coming off on camera, but like when I really look at it in real life, like I think it's cool for the space. I want you guys to comment and let me know. Um, so we have about five of these going this way. And then we also have rocks right here. And then that's when you actually step onto our pavers, which like I said, everything is not sealed and stuff yet. So if you see some that just look kind of like rocky is because they really have not been sealed or anything yet um so we put edging all around as well um i was debating if i wanted to put my papers all the way to the garage wall or put rocks right there but we just end up making it kind of flush with the wall i do need to still fix that also too y'all this has to get fixed i was thinking about can you guys link some places where i can get some well i've looked on amazon i need to get like some outdoor shades to cover this up because this just looked really ugly with the space looking so like nice and put together um and i know i'm not completely finished but i need to cover this up with something because this is, this is my garage and basically these are the walls <laughs> inside a garage just looking through these okay um that's how it was when i got the house so give me some ideas on covering this up because that's my next move i'm tired of seeing it so um like i said this is the patio papers right here it looked like it's about 18 or so in each row let me see one two three let me see but we're gonna walk out on here and this is how they look right now we did put like our first little um sand in there but again we still have to kind of seal it up and stuff like that but this is actually how our pavers are looking right now and then when we go this way this is how they look right here now guys these little white stains <laughs> 
these little white stains and stuff y'all i think these white stains came from the water i want you guys to comment and let me know like will that come off but because remember i was telling y'all we had a storm and the pavers was basically outside but i had them covered but i still feel like this little these little marks and stuff probably came from just like water stains so like are, will that be easy to come up we'll have to see i may have to pressure wash it or something i don't know but I can't wait to see everything like actually sealed together because right now you can still kind of see like some cracks and stuff um and then this is just like little pea gravel that was um up under that kind of came off the edge but i wanted to give you guys a view from right here okay so this is like a view from right here So far, I'm loving it, y'all. This patio is huge. It's not too big, but I feel like it's big enough. We could have even went wider with the walkway, but the walkway still works for the space. So that's cool. Um, I'll show you guys like the hump on the other side where I was talking about. It just looked like weird. Also, that wall kind of ashy because he had to cut some stuff down. Y'all see how the pathway is actually not that bad. Like it don't look as small as you think when you actually like get close. But I think in real life. If y'all was here, like y'all probably agree, like it's not that, it's not that like narrow. Like I feel like it's wide enough, and I think the um, stones made it look even better. So yeah. So let's walk up here. Um, let's see, how many papers do we have here? We have one, two, three. I about like is that 20 around hold on let me see something 19 so that's 19 so it looked like it's about 19 in a row um of papers but let me show y'all my little hump that i have to get rid of so i'm gonna show y'all this little like right here okay so this is a good view okay so y'all see the right side right <laughs> So y'all see how the right side of the grass is like humpier. Um, I'm not sure what they did over there, like back in the day or whatever. Um, my house is pretty old if you guys don't know. But um, as you guys can see, it's a bunch of rocks over here in this area. Um, so it needs to be leveled like right here. But even this can be leveled out some more. It's a little humpier, but it's not as noticeable as this one. <laughs> like, But um, I figure whatever I do to, and also that's kind of like the back little yard space and like grass space that we got right there but yeah i figure what i'll do is is that whenever i level this out i just want to level both of them like completely all right i think i want to level them like completely and then maybe even mulch maybe this whole little area or just like something like some plants or something but yeah it just it has to be level let me let me try to take the camera up more to see if y'all can see it better the kids out here going crazy today but as you guys can see the right side is just a lot more higher than the left side so i definitely want to get that leveled out as much as possible um just to kind of um make it cohesive so y'all give me some ideas on what we can do on, because i've seen so many ideas where like people got like their patio and then they got their little walkway and then they just got like flowers or something on the side. But I want to just do something really cute because I try to make sure that the um, walkway was right in the middle. Just so I can have just so I can have about the same amount of space on each side, if that makes any sense. So we definitely want to create some stuff right there. And I may even want to cut this part off. Like cut this part off like right there. So I don't know. But yeah. Comment below some ideas. Obviously, the grass still got to get cut, um, but she looking a little, as you guys can see, a ton of rocks on this right side. It's crazy, but yeah, so that's that, but this is the pergola that we end up getting from um, Castaway, so shout out to them for sending us this pergola, y'all. So, the pergola is actually back here behind the garage. And remember, this is where I was going to put it at, at first, the patio, but it made so much more sense because I can see it right at my door, right at my back door, and it looks really, really nice. So, um, so back here is where I actually have 
my pergola at right now which obviously i'm going to put on the patio whenever the patio is completely finished yeah so this is how it's looking right now as you guys can see this is kind of brand new like the rest of the pieces are in the garage but this rug right here this is an old rug right here yeah i've had this rug for a long 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 time <laughs> um and then our tree <laughs> girl get over here what are you doing <laughs> the tree over here keep falling y'all because girl the tree keep falling because the wind keep blowing so she's having a hard time with just staying up because the wind just keep blowing her down okay so this tree right here is actually from um target it was like 119 had this for years um if you guys don't know this has been in my house on my patio at the old house and everything also y'all they had picked up most of those rocks but i feel like it's still a lot of dirt and i feel like this dirt came from them just kind of placing that dirt on here so i still think it's a significant amount of dirt that's on here but it's not as bad as it was but i just i have to figure out how to um get my grass to kind of get back green because i swear it was grass up under here so yeah yeah this is pretty much the view from right here over in the corner and it's definitely giving different areas of opportunity for sure i definitely want like a little fire pit type situation back here is that a butterfly it better be because if that was a bee i'm about to be about it <laughs> oh we <laughs> y'all i do not like bees oh my god <laughs> but um anyways let me let me darken this up and see if i can get a better feel okay but yeah as you guys can see we have a nice amount of space back here to actually create a vibe love the patio placement i want you guys to comment let me know what you think obviously it's other areas to work on too as well but for now this is what our backyard living space is looking like huh? and then this is how much room we have on the side of the fence I mean on the side of the patio and the fence right here as well okay y'all so we are now outside the time right now is 504 and I'm just trying to get used to being outside um, <laughs> the wind is blowing like crazy um that's our little shade thing from our um pergola that we got from Cosway. so that's exciting i'm excited to put this on the um patio area and then also um i'm excited to kind of create a new little area back here maybe with like a fire pit um maybe with some little chairs but definitely like a little fire pit situation um i think that'd be really cute and honestly it don't even have to be that big but it can be because i love a good fire pit little situation especially when it comes to like family and stuff like that to like kind of gather around that's gonna be real cute yeah i just want to be able to just create the space for me and my family and just really have somewhere for us to just really just chill and like have a good time you know so i'm excited um so i want you guys to comment and let me know what do you guys think about how our patio turned out I know it's not completely finished but so far what do you guys think um also give me some ideas on those windows on our garage because they are so close to our patio um and our pergola will be really close to it i want you guys to comment and give me some ideas on some um like kind of like outside blinds we can actually put there that's actually going to look right because i need to cover that space up so it can look cohesive and clean like the rest of the patio area will actually be so i want you guys to comment that below and then also comment about our grass on the right side that's higher what is you guys suggestion of getting that lower and then also um what should i put on each side of our walkway coming to our patio as far as like flowers whatever give me some ideas um and yeah that's pretty much everything right now also do you guys like our pergola 
um i know it's all gray but i wanted to like get an all gray one because i feel like the all gray would just kind of stand out and i wanted to put something as dark as possible on the patio so it could just stand out because i knew that the ground was going to be like a light gray so i knew i wanted to have like a darker um pergola if it was black it would have been even better but to me it's like dark enough so it's, it still works out but um also give me some ideas on some new areas in this area i know we just now got finished with the patio but i still want to kind of get ideas on like what would you guys put back here and also would you guys put something over in this corner over here as well but i love the back corner because i love that it's separate from the patio area but still has its own square and like enough space to kind of create if i really wanted to so that's really exciting and it's kind of chill back here too the sun is actually in back of me and i see it's about to actually come out again so but like if i was to turn around like the light would be um like the light would be like um the other way so so i guess the sun probably come this way and versus the other way but i think it just hit different ways like right now the patio is like not as sunny so i feel like you can kind of see the whole thing hopefully i got a clip of that but also too y'all i was thinking about going to some stores and getting some lights for the pergola in case i just want to kind of chill over here one night or whatever or tonight just to see how it looks and how much like light it'll look if we actually put some lights up here and then also i wanted to get you know that'd be real cute too um i wanted to get some lights to go on each side of the walkway i think that'd be really really nice um that'd be really cute um, and also uh, give me some ideas on um, what we should put around the patio pavers I know right now it's just like some gravel rocks and like a little bit of dirt but it'd be cute if it was kind of designed but y'all know me I'm very simplistic so I don't mind it not having anything around it and just kind of just having like a little garden on each side maybe some lights coming up furniture all that and stuff so yeah but yeah yeah i'm excited i'm about to actually close out um i hope you guys all enjoyed today's video a lot went on i'm just glad we at least got that part finished and now we can just move on i'll show you guys in the next video of the mulch and how it looks in the front i didn't get to get it in this video but i'll show you guys in the next video how it looked it looked really cute so i'm glad i actually cleaned that little flower bed up and do not forget to comment about that too i love you guys i hope you guys all have an amazing week comment below your thoughts on the patio the patio size also the walkway and the location and then also our new pergola i want you guys to give me some ideas and i hope you guys got some ideas um, for your outdoor space um for this year 2024 super excited for the spring very excited for the weather i'm glad we have not gonna rain yet but i think it's supposed to rain on tuesday so hopefully we can kind of finish some little extra patio stuff tomorrow um that'll be great so comment below do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you are new if you like anything creative spaces that you want to live in and if you like any of my content and as always if you guys are a regular here I love you guys and I appreciate the support from you guys and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.